What is up everybody? Hungry Cabbygon here. I've been buying some uh, random singles and I thought I would show you what I've got. I've been kind of accumulating these over a little bit of time. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff in these packages. Some old stuff, some new stuff. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a mix, but it's all kind of random I suppose. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you. Just uh, open it all at once. So, I can't exactly remember what everything is. But uh, these ones I just got today, I think. Let me just make sure I don't reveal what it is. I'm trying to see. Okay, this way. So none of these cards are particularly expensive, but uh, they're all just stuff that I thought was cool or interesting in some way. So I thought I'd show you. All right, first one, let's have a look. Aha, uh -huh. this, I can't remember what the name of this set was, CP2, but this, you got one of these full art cards in every pack. They look very sweet though. This is a Dialga, very nice looking. It was 50 yen, I think. So I do have a lot of these, but I wasn't sure if I had this particular one. So I just, I thought I'd buy it there. They look like full arts, but they're not, they're not like a proper full art. It's not, um, it's not a secret rare or anything. It's just a rare. It's from a very small set, 27 card set. But um, you got one of these full arts in every pack. So they're pretty cool looking. I thought I would uh, just grab that for 50 cents. I thought that was pretty good. All right, next one. Is another one from the same set. This is Black Kiram, also 50 cents. This one I'm pretty sure I don't have. So I thought I would, I would get it just in case. The artworks are really good. This is a uh, Mitsuhiro Arita work, so you can kind of tell. Very distinctive, very cool looking. All right, next one. It's a Landorus full art, black and white, but it's a promo. It was 80, 80 yen. It's not in as good a condition as I would like. I'll show you in just a second. These black and white full art, some of them are like, not that good, the texturing and stuff like that. It's it's very kind of heavy texturing, which I think now they do a much better job. It's much more kind of light texturing. But this is a promo. I don't know what this came from. But um, you can see on the back, it's not perfect. It's not terrible, but it has some whitening and stuff on the edges. But for 80 cents, I don't care. It's pretty sweet looking. That's a proper full art. All right. Next one. Pew. It's another full art and it was also 80 cents. It's a Xerneas from XY base set. 80 yen. Yeah, come on. They actually had three. I was kind of thinking about buying all three of them, but I thought that's kind of unnecessary. But, you know, they were only 80 yen each. This is a great looking card. I like these XY era ones. Like, look at the background on that. It's much better than just a flat color, I have to say. It's, it's a very nice looking card. Really good. And for the price, yeah, I'm going to take that any day. It's in good condition. Seems good. Not perfect, but pretty close. Next one, if this is what I think it is, I was extremely happy to get this. Um, I saw it once before in a shop and I didn't buy it and then it was sold. And it was about a thousand-ish yen. Pew. It's a Cabigon Level X, but I only paid 50 yen for it. And it's a promo in Japan. And if you see... What it's a promo for? Dominoes, of course. It's highly appropriate for a, a big fat cabigon just to be a pizza promo. I do like that. Let's sleeve him up in a proper sleeve. So now I have the German and English version of this card, which makes me happy. Not English. What am I talking about? Japanese. German and Japanese version. I love it. It's so good. He's like exploding out of that card. For 50 yen, I was so happy to get that. I That was just a great deal. I I had to buy it, of course. I would have bought as many as they had, but they, they only had one, unfortunately. All right, let's have a look at this. Apparently this card costs zero yen. <laughs> that is not right. I actually bought these from like, this card shop has a, um, a little section of cards and it's like, they're cards that have some damage on them. So they're like much cheaper, but <clears throat> these ones don't look that bad, honestly. Like I can't see any, obvious signs of damage on the back. 
But uh, yeah, just a cool Flareon reverse. It's a. I don't know. I mean, I I can't personally see anything like super wrong with that. It was 70 yen. I just thought it looked cool. I like the artwork on it. That's why I got it. It's got the little Firestone there. It's pretty sweet looking. I dig that. Next one, also zero yen. There's an Espeon Hollow. Hold on. This looks. Uh, it's got a little bit. Yeah, you can see it's got a little bit of a ding on the top. But um, I mean, it's 70 yen. It looks all right to me. Yeah, that's a sweet looking hollow. I really like the background on that one. Is it scratched? Uh, this edge is a little bit, yeah. I can see what they're saying. It's, I mean, it's a nine year old card. It doesn't look too bad, honestly. It's a very nice artwork. And also a very nice hollow pattern on there. I, I like that one very much. So it's another evolution to go down there. The last one was this one. This one does have a noticeable dent on the bottom. And it's a Pichu Hollow. It's a cute Pichu Hollow. I like it. It still looks cool. What was it? 70 yen. Yeah, why not? 70 cents. I like the uh, subtle, the subtlety of the Hollow pattern that they used to have. It's it's not like super leery and in your face. It's just kind of nicely there. That's a very nice Pichu. I like that one. All right. These other ones, I can't even remember where or when I got them. Let's see what this is. It's a Groudon EX non holo promo from 2003 and it costs 50 cents. And they put tape on there. Why they put tape on there? How am I supposed to get that? I don't want to pick at it too much, but I want to get it out of this sleeve. Eh. There we go. All right, I think we're okay. Old school EX for 50 cents. Yes, please. Yeah, it's, that's a glossy one. Very glossy. You can see that. I don't know what this is from. It's a promo, but it, it looks pretty cool. It's one of those like kind of dated CG artworks, but um, still nice though. I like it. Um, all right, what else we got in here? These ones are from Mandarake by the look of it. Ah, it's a Ho-Oh promo e-reader series by Mitsuhiro Arita. It's very nice looking. I need scissors to get these ones out. They put them in these like things that are kind of annoying to take them out from. So that was 200 yen, this one. I just thought it was a nice artwork, which is why, well, that's kind of the reason why I bought all of these really. Sleep it up. I'm a sucker for promos though. I always want promos. This is a promo, an old school promo. Very nice looking ho oh there. I I can very much appreciate the artwork on that one. Oh, that's kind of a, re a reveal of what that is. What is this one? That's a base set Mewtwo. This one actually is pretty good condition. Um, this was 400 yen. I think this is the most expensive card that I bought by a bit actually. But this one looked pretty good. I was having a close look at it. Uh, it's, eh, it's got some light scratching on the back. But it looks pretty good. Overall, base set Mewtwo. Looking nice, looking shiny. Looking kind of weird. His neck his neck and his pose always weirded me out. But I like this card. It's, it's from base set. So it's kind of got a soft spot for me. This next one is like a very random thing. Someone's starting a motorbike right outside my window. It's a Gengar, as you can see. It's just one of these, like, weird... Is it a sticker? It might be a sticker. It is a sticker. I can see if I look closely. These are stickers that can come off. I didn't realize that. I thought it was a card. But anyway, 150 yen. Gengar is very popular. I like Gengar a lot. So let's see if this will fit in a sleeve. I didn't realize it was a sticker. Yeah, it's definitely a sticker. But I mean, if you don't take it off, it's a card. So it's got like a tax on the back, evolution. It's 
pretty interesting. Let's put it in a sleeve. I don't want the sticker to come off. Okay, it's way too big. All right, we'll put it in this way. That's pretty sweet looking. It's a very, a very old school looking Gengar. He's kind of gray, not purple. All right, we got a few more to go. What is this one? Ah, I got these. I got a few of these. It's just a uh, old school e-reader, hollow energy. I didn't look super closely. It's only a dollar, but um, it is not in the best condition. It looks very scratched up. Yeah. But just, if you look at it like that, it looks sweet. The card itself is pretty fine, but the hollow pattern is, yeah, it's, it's seen better days for sure. Scratched up. But just in the binder, that will look fine. That is very nice. All right, what is this one? Let's cut the top off preemptively. All right, this one is. Ah, it's a. Ah, oh, why can't I forget his name? Torterra, is that it? I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm thinking of the Japanese name. Dodaisto. Dodaitos. Dodaitos. That's a bit of a mouthful. Level X. It's also a promo, which is why I got this. How much did that say? I think it was 150 or 200. Did it say? 200 yen. But this one's in good condition. Hmm, it looks pretty fine. Okay, so I got the recording failure again for the second time in about 10 seconds. So I don't know where it was up to. I, I think it failed when I was showing this card, which is the Torterra Level X. I think it's out of focus. I don't know if the camera's overheating or if the memory card is no good. I don't know. Like, I don't seem to lose the videos, but it just will stop recording randomly, which is very annoying. If I missed anything, I apologize. You can see everything laid out here. So I hope I, it, it didn't miss anything. Um, let's have a look at the next one. We'll cut the top off. Oh, it's so like covered in tape. I can't it. get it off. There we go. Next one. This one was 100 yen also. It's a psychic energy e-reader. Again, scratched up, but if you look at it from the right angle, look at that. Looks looks like a beauty. Looks beautiful. Uh, sleeves, sleeves. Let's sleeve it up. Okay. A little bit of plastic down here. All right, I got two more to show you. Cut this one off. So yeah, I didn't really invest much in these, but I think that they're very nice cards, all of them. This one was also 100 yen. What does it say? Ah, <laughs> it's a pseudo widow. I just, I just love this, the look of him. He looks so good. It's like a plasticine one on like a cool background. I really, really like this artwork. Look at that, come on. How can you not love that? Pseudo Udo is awesome. All right, one more card to go. I think I remember what this is. Okay. This one was also 100 yen, yep. Yeah. It's a grass energy. Again, don't look too closely. It looks great from the right angle. Look at that. These are sweet looking energy cards, I have to say. I really dig them, but they're very scratched up. But I would love to get a set of them for a deck. That would be great. Um, I'm really happy with all of these. And um, most expensive one was the Mewtwo $4. The rest were like a dollar or $2 or less. Majority were a dollar or less. This is definitely my favorite and it was the cheapest thing we got, 50 yen. Why was it only 50 yen? I don't know, but definitely that's my favorite. I'm gonna keep going back and buying more like random stuff like this. I hope you enjoyed it. Nothing too expensive. Like I would love to buy more expensive cards like gold stars and shinies and stuff like that, but it's not realistic. I could buy them, but then there would be no videos for that month. You know what I mean? So, eh. One day, one day, we'll get there. 
But uh, anyway, for now, I'll stick with the cheap but cool looking stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.